I'm, I'm moving quick here. Uh, Matt in California who disagrees, you're on the air. Yes. Uh, I've heard, I've been subjected to listening to you from my brother-in-law for about a week. And I can't say that I, I can disagree with everything you say exponentially. I can't, I, even if you were right about all of your paranoid rantings, I couldn't get behind you because of your anger. You're just such an angry person. You're scary. Yeah, you, you, know, you bet, buddy. I am scary. You, you, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I got red blood. I, I like my wife. I, I like freedom, God, guts, and guns. You better believe it. And, but, but let's expand on that. You said, can, you know, paranoid rantings. Sure. The guy just called in about memorandum 200 to break countries down and starve people to death, which they're doing to the tune of 30 million a year. Now I'm giving you real numbers here. I'm giving you documents. I'm giving you Operation Himmler, staged terror attacks by Hitler to start World War II. Why, why is it that popularly known? I'm giving you real memorandum and real names of people calling for terror attacks today to take our liberties and start World War III. I predicted all of what's happening in Europe right now with precision, not because it was hard, but because it was all public. I mean, specifically, where am I wrong? Listen, the thing about it is that it's wrong in that I don't feel I have as much in common with you bitter clingers and you gun toters as I would with if we had a foreign occupation. I would have more in common with a Russian or a German troop on the street. I'm not afraid of progress. You're trying to say that we should dis dismantle the government, people do you realize they can't go backwards, that people need this system, and people like you are just trying to 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 take away from the people that don't have. All right, hold on just a minute. And, sir, is this a serious phone call? Because I started hearing you almost laugh right there. Is this a serious phone call? Because I know there are people like you out there. Are you serious? I'm very nervous, sir, because you're frightening. You are so aggressive. You talk about... You get into it with people. You bow up to people, and you you you, you yell. Uh, and I've had to hear about you from my brother-in-law for months about how wonderful you are and how you're going to save America. And uh, the whole time, all you do is you're just selling products. Oh, you want to buy my water filter? Want to buy my uh, pollen burst? You know? Yes, I believe that America <laughs> needs to progress forward. And the thing is, I'm I'm hoping that we actually have. Uh, our current president for life, because we, we need to keep progressing forward. If we take a step backward into the evil ways of, of Romney, or worse yet, Ron Paul, good God, it could all fall apart. All right, I appreciate your call. I don't think that's a serious call, but I have heard people like that, so it might be. He did attack me for selling things. Let me explain something. George Soros and MSNBC get banker bailout money, your tax money, Five hundred million in stimulus went to MSNBC to not hire one person, but give all their pig-like staff raises. Okay, the high-level pig-like staff. I sell products I believe in to self-finance, and that's supposedly a bad thing.